Well, hello. And welcome back to Dead and Valen here on Boot to Plays Whatever. In our previous episode, things got heated up around here in Dead and Valen. This game is really starting to get good. I'm enjoying it. Especially the interaction between these two lovebirds. Ooh wee. Now they shared their first kiss and it was uh it was anything but beautiful. Okay. I mean it was beautiful for a second and then it got ugly real quick. But that was really, really good. I, I enjoyed that that whole moment between both of these two and the, the chemistry that's brewing. It, it's something that I truly am enjoying. After that, I believe it was time to pay our tribute of the berries, ugh, which have been giving me so much heartache and caused me to have an ulcer. And then it turns on out that we were supposed to pay even more berries. But the donkey man decided to be lenient, quote unquote, to us and allowed us to fetch extra berries. And it was a good thing because we were short on berries. I was pretty sure we were going to get a thrashing, but he gave us some extra time and everybody had a chip on in and we got enough berries and everybody was happy. Then he threw a apple to make Kari fetch it, and she told him to shove it, basically. And she got vengeance because of it, and I love it. I actually don't know what that effect does. Let's take a look at it. I thought that was something it traits. So she got vengeful, which is plus 5 courage, plus 25 to fatigue decreases. Oh, okay. That's really good, actually. Cool. Can't stay in place. Healing, cooking, fishing. Oh, I didn't know that. And gardening. Healing, cooking, fishing, and gardening. Interesting on the XP gains there. And at the very tail end of the episode, during our explorations, we happen to come across this guy. This guy right here. And I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to invite him to camp. We were saving on up. We we're, we were working towards getting the, the couple, which is still manageable. But since we owe 40 wood for our next thing, we're going to have to really... I mean, we're going to have to get a bunch of wood because we, we consume wood a lot. So one of the upgrades I'm going to do probably right after I get the uh, this cooking pot done is is the lumber camp for two people. So we can get all the wood in the world. Now, it doesn't cost too much to upgrade it. I think it's like 10 wood and 5 stone, something like that. So it's not bad. It's it's manageable to get, and then we can start getting guys doing double time work on that. So, I mean, we, we got some busy work to go. We got to survive here in Vinland. So I hope everybody's ready. So relax. Kick on back, everybody. Go, go, I don't, I don't even know. Get a, get a pen and paper and write this down. Things are about to get amazing. They're going to get amazing. It's time to get our game on. Let's go ahead and start. Let's invite the hooded man. Let's go ahead and inspect him first. You see a hooded man sitting near a campfire. His fancy clothes are covered in mud and blood, and he is wearing a big golden cross-shaped pendant. He seems to be lost in his thoughts when, when he notices your presence. In an instant, he puts his hand to his belt, watching you out of the corner of his eye. Then he loosens up and gives you a big smile. Okay. A little shifty here. Man of God. Let's talk to him. There's only one person I allowed to talk to anybody. That's right. Moira. Bonjour, my friend. Oh, he's French. Take a seat, take a seat. I'll gladly share a place near my humble fire. You are not one of Yorn's lackeys, I presume? That's fine. You'd already be yelling at me with a sword in hand. And you'd soon swim in a pool of your own blood, if so. I may not look like it, but I have some experience with my sword myself. Mm -hmm. Well, Nor Mora knows a thing about handling swords. <laughs> I come in peace. We don't want any trouble. Hmm. Well, let's be friends then. I don't know. I, I knew you didn't look like a vulgar thief. These fiends, I just can't stand them. But may I ask you something? You said we, meaning that you have friends of your own? Tell me, they are not hiding nearby to ambush me, right? We made a camp not too far from here. We are a handful of good willing people. Marvelous, my friend. That's extraordinary news. You see, this lonely situation I am in is starting to get on my nerves. You'd enjoy my company very much, my friend. You'll see I'm very full of resources. Oh. Oh, winky, eyebrows raised. Ooh, they got the same same problem. <laughs> They're going to have to take go both to the doctor. Take me with you, pretty, please. Why not? Why not? You, you'll have to do your share of work, though. I'm moved to tears by your kindness, my friend. I'm a stuche, by the way. I'm a monk, Christian monk. You know, the one true God, churches, etc., etc., etc. Lead the way. You won't regret having me on board, I promise. The stuche follows you back to camp with a smile. He's now part of your community, for better and worse. Now, we can always kick him on out. I haven't had to do that yet, 
But it is a thing that we can do. So Stuche joined our camp. Let's take a look at him. He's got some levels, so let's level him on up. Depression, depression losses plus ten, not bad. Uh, healing, unpredictable, scavenging, and cooking. Now let's see what he's good at. Right, that he's an excellent fisher. Great, that's exactly what we needed. He's also really good at scavenging and forestry and exploration. So it looks like we have our second explorer, which would be nice, and a fisher, which is even better. Uh, overall, he seems really good. So let's go ahead and what were, what were we got here? Scavenging. Now his scavenging, and what is his cooking? His cooking is all right. Now if we could have two cooks, his, his cooking is really low right now. Having two cooks would be really nice uh, because it seems like the only person that can cook is the mom of the ordeal. And I think the preacher might have been all right at it. Let's see here. Cooking is 17. Pop sucks at it. Mom is great. Moira is actually pretty good at it too. Okay. And the preacher. So maybe not the cooking. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll get his scavenging. Wait, what's the apprentice healer? You can tell me what it is? Negative 10 to XP. No, we, we don't want overall XP gain. XP losses. We'll go ahead and, and bump up his scavenging. And he's got another level. Okay. Unpredictable again. Valiant plus 10 courage plus 5. Nope. Negative 5 constitution plus 15. Hunger decreases. Exploration plus 10. Critical resist plus 8. Which would be nice. What's his... Uh, Exploration is at 35. Let's go ahead and bump up his exploration. Because having to be able to be able to explore it would be really nice. Now, I don't know what his abilities are. Let's take a look at that. And what's his fight? So, he's a warrior. So, he... Oh, he's just like Dad. Okay. That works on out. I hate Dad. Uh, especially in those things. Stealth. Negative 10 XP. Crafting. Sickness loss. Plus 10 sickness decreases. That would be really nice. Uh... Stealth would be another thing. What's his stealth at now? Let's go ahead. Is stealth, 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 stealth. Where's that at? Here. Stealth, stealth is at 50. Let's go ahead and bump up his stealth. Now, the crafter. I don't like the negative total XP gains. That seems ridiculous. Plus 10 sickness decreases. It would also be really nice just because he does get sick. But I think we're just going to go with the stealth. And he has another level on top of that. Man. Dodge plus 10. Effects plus... Nope. Crafting, no. Strength doesn't seem too bad. Beast handling plus 10. We'll go the sickness decrease. And now he's he's fully leveled on up. So that's, that's looking good. So let's go ahead and get him to work already. Now we're... Water's going to be an issue very very quickly but if we have this guy which I think he's gonna pan on out let's go ahead we'll get him going fishing 2 to 11 raw fish dang if we get 11 and get this cooking pot done here that would be just great so let's go ahead and skip on over to the next part of the day now I got mom resting because she was getting a bit tired and I, I want to make sure everybody's still in greens like that's my, my optimal thing keep everybody in the green if we can help it Cooking pot is done. Terrific. Pop's a little bit tired by that. That's okay. Mora's over here doing one of her favorite things, collecting some agua. Get that strength up, girl. A little fatigue. She's actually not too bad at it. Now, we have so much fishing bait. It's ridiculous. We are starting to run kind of short on arrows. I mean, 10's not bad, so it's at least it's three more days. Plus four injury. And she gets hurt a little bit doing it too. Padre, he's getting his forestry on up. Seven wood. Fatigue, 15. Yeah, Padre's going to have to take a rest after this. So let's go ahead and just set things in motion right now. Because he is by far tired. And we don't want to lose Padre. I'm surprised that actually him and the preacher, or the, the, the Frenchman, didn't have an exchange of words, which would have been interesting. Now, now that we have this, we can set mom to cook. We need at least one recipe. So let's go ahead and choose a recipe. Now we can make salts too, which will be good for curing. We just don't have it yet. And we'd have to make the curing thing too, which is something else. I mean, look at all this freaking food. Oh, okay. So that costs fire intensity to make all these various things. All right. Good to know. 
So that will lose half the fire intensity. Interesting. Interesting. 24, 48. Man. Okay, so this is... I didn't even notice, notice that before. Interesting. Hmm. So how many meals? So if she whips up eight... We got six people, and that's if she succeeds. Success for SB69, 70% chance of it. Man, dude, that could that could possibly wipe out our fire. So let's check the fire. <laughs> let's let's check let's check this fire here and make sure we got everything where it needs to be on it. So let's get all the water we can. And then we'll boost this up to 80%. So the fire won't go on out. Who? We so it's at possible 64%, which is just, it's pretty insane, actually. Okay, so what, what are we having issues with over here? Excellent, excellent, excellent. The lumber camp is good. It takes a little bit of rope. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right. And now we can have, we should have plenty of meals for tonight. And what we're going to do, Angelica's resting. We have enough food. Now, the new guy said he was good. At har no, he's not good at harvesting. He sucks at it. You suck at it, dude. You're not good at harvesting. But you are good at exploration. Now let's take Dad. Let's stick him on over here. Ugh, doing one of his favorite tasks. I think Kari's somewhat decent at it. Um, Where's she at? Yeah, she's a 28. She hates to do it, but she's good at it. So let's go ahead. We'll have her on harvesting duty. And we need, we need rope. No, nope. we need rope. So focus on him. Because that's going to be one of the things. Okay, so she's getting water. She's going to cook up a meal. Because the next thing that we have to get, I think, is going to have to upgrade the lumber camp. Which will endow for two people. So we need just a little bit of rope. We'll have enough lumber. And then we can get two people a cracking at a time on that lumber camp. Which would really help on out in the long run. So Padre's resting. All right, we got mom making food. We got her collecting water. We got Kari gathering some hemp on up. He, let's go ahead. Let's put him to work out exploring. Which shouldn't be too bad here. We need to keep exploring. We've got to crack this. We got to crack this map wide open here. And I think that's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty, pretty dang good. Now the, we're gonna have a ton of food, which would be great. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's just run with it. Okay, got us fatigued down. Not too bad. Now, if we got a rainy day here soon, it'd be great. Now, one of the other things I was looking at was increasing the water supply. And it costs a lot of lumber. A lot of lumber. And so, we getting the double... See, she got a crap meal out of that. Oh, okay, good. Okay, 51%. That's not too bad. So, it's going to cost a lot of lumber. Getting the lumber camp, getting it higher. Okay, so we have enough. We can make the rope now. So that's nice. We can get the lumber camp upgraded, which will allow us to get a ton of lumber, which will, then we can easily make this, this quota, and get other things going. Now he's getting super tired by this too. So a little bit of water to do exploring. We already discovered. He almost got the second one. A little fatigue, but we got an encounter. That's fine. I expected it. So he's a frontliner. Let's get Karyon in there, and then let's get Mom. No, they're both getting a little war torn, and so we're gonna have to start healing, which is nice because we have this extra guy now that's gonna allow us to do a, a variety of things. Oh, he he branches a freaking uh, what's that? It's not called a mace. I forget the heck that's called. So we're gonna do a hit and run. Let's get Kari in the back line. She misses because of this game, and then we'll use evasion on her. Now I don't know what's going on with Mom's act or uh, her not action points, but her. Uh, well, in their turn. Like, I thought she was higher than a two. Like, I didn't realize she was so slow. Swing and a miss. Okay. See, and I hate... Like, we got to take care of these knives, guys, as soon as possible. I hate them all so much. Doing an aggressive lunge. Five damage, man. That almost broke her shield. Okay, so this guy's going to come bar barreling on in here. And he misses. What's his 80%? Well, he resists the trait, and that's fine. Yeah, he's exactly the same as Dad. Now, if we do the yell, that'll guarantee it. Now, he's got a ton of action points. So let's go ahead. Let's just start barreling on in. Yeah, four. We'll take it. Not too bad. 
Uh, the plunderer, he's gonna do an extra Akari. Maybe she'll dodge. She dodges good. And then what's he gonna do? He's gonna insult mom. Says your cooking sucks. Why do you even try? Oh, uh, she's gonna get she's gonna look down try by that. I think that's an AP thing. I'm not too certain. So let's go ahead. Let's taunt this guy. Got me my two. She's got two points left. If we're lucky, <laughs> we'll get the three. We got two. That's okay. Kari can finish him off. Which I think, honestly, we should go for the gusto and uh, do a range of arrows, which would be two to three across the board. We can get damage on both of these guys. Let's see it. Good job. Good job, Kari. And it gives her just enough to uh, get her evasion skill on up. Now, it's high in action points, but since she had already ended her turn with one extra, we got the extra AP out of the deal, which is optimum. So there's two to, what's his name? Istushche. Istushche. Now you guys going to back on off here. Istushche's coming on back. Now that's both uh, this or that. Now we could, we're just going to go melee strike. And we're just going to straight barrage this guy. Now it's one of three. He got the one. That's good enough. Here comes the plunder. He's going to chop at his stuche. He's going to take a little bit of damage. Eh, okay. About as much as I was expecting. 13 health's not too bad. Now, Mom's back here. Let's go ahead and give a taunt. I hate to waste it on this guy. But he's in the back row, so... Oh, Mom, no! It's okay. Kari will... Let it brown for it. Okay, that'll do. Kari can finish him off next turn. So let's go ahead and start applying damage to the plunderer. Got the crit. Very nice. And in mom's turn, here comes Kari. Now, if we do the barrage shot, that's five points. And I don't want to risk it. Let's go ahead and sniper shot this guy. Do some evasion on ourselves. No, all we got left is the plunderer. And let's see who he goes for. Hopefully it's Kari. And he's going to axe throw mom. Dodge it, baby. Yeah. Zero damage. She's got 16 points. I don't know if that's been increasing or what. So he's going to install Estuche. Estache? I don't know if you learn to pronounce that. But he's raring to go. Now, if we go War Cry, we can. We're just going to go straight damage. Let's just berate this guy. Crit. Bull charge. And then mom to finish it off with a taunt. Very nice. GG. Two E Z. And we got a bunch of crap meals. Thanks guys for all that crap meal. And he's slightly one. He took three. So that's not bad. Some wheat, a little cylinder power. Not too bad. Okay, good deal. And then we also discovered an area. So let's take a look, see what we discovered here. An abandoned camp. We could probably check the bags, check the fire pit. Interesting. I don't think we need to do that necessarily. Uh, but we definitely need to get this fire up to par. And we need to get enough water for everybody. Yeah, that's going to be one of the key things. Is getting that water. Getting the water, getting the fire. I mean, I didn't realize it took that much fire to to make food. Sheesh. Okay, that's going to make things a little more interesting. Now, it's the end of the night, so go ahead, let's end the day here. My friends, I wanted to say the most sincere mercy for taking me with you. You saved my butt out there, but uh, I am nothing else but your humble servant for the rest of this poor man's life. Kari! Oh, okay, everybody's getting it. I thought he was going to move in on Kari there for a second. Let's just be nice to him. You know, we'll go open arms. We're glad to have you to have found a friendly face. I mean, he's got that scar, so he's been in some battles. Until now, our days on this island haven't brought us much joy. Our asses have been kicked by this ugly man, Yorn, and his men. Real hard. Oh, I know them very well, my friends. I've had some trouble with good old Bjorn, too. You see, I've got very, very limited patience with any form of authority. So I fear Bjorn... And I can't share a beer without it ending in extreme violence. And as a man of God, I don't support violence, not too often at least. That's good to hear, I think. Enough for tonight. Let's share our food and our water with our guests. There's plenty of work waiting for us tomorrow. 
Indeed. At last, with this shiny cooking pot, I'll be able to cook you real meals. Oh, she's excited. That's a relief I can't eat raw food anymore. It's still bland. It would be good if Kari could learn a thing or two from you, honey. Touch your mouth, Dad. Ugh, no thanks to you. It's a waste of time. You'll learn, Kari. Women must know how to cook. You can't rely on men for that. <laughs> and you don't rely on Dad for hunting and protecting the family, right? <laughs> God, these two, man. Can we not have a night that ends with the fight? Come on. For tonight, I took some time to cook something special for everyone. Enjoy your meal. So she gave us four. Everybody's going to be super full from all this. I need your help to bring me the base ingredients if you want more. Which is going to be vegetables. Now, I like to get the vegetable garden going. But it's going to... Oh, everybody's super thirsty in the night, too, of course. And we have exactly six. This is where things get tricky. Man, if we can get a rain day here, the gods will surely have blessed us. So let's go ahead and skip on here. Everybody's got a drink. Out of water, that's fine. It's like when we gotta start rationing it, we'll ration it. But today it's not gonna happen. Because we got so much food. Oh my god. Look at all this freaking food. Get these hungers down, man. God, the best. The best. I freaking love it. It's like it cost us an arm and a leg, but well worth it. Now, does it get. Any lower. So we have all this extra stuff here, too. Now, for rots or rots. And that's fine. So, who's at high? So, Kari's pretty high. Good Dan. I mean, these. this is great. Oh, my freaking God. I am loving life here. Loving life. Tasty meals. Everybody's super full. And she's like, Mom. Mom. Yeah, let's just zero these on out. And we got one tasty meal. I mean, if we can keep it, that'd be great. So let's go ahead. We'll skip the next day. Hopefully we can keep that. That'd be nice. So a little depressed. Energized. No more energized removed. Fatigue's on down. So dad's the only one slightly tired. And so we didn't lose the good meal, which is cool. Oh, it's a regular day. Uh, what I would give for a rain day. No more I got a level. So let's go ahead and check it on out here. Big. Constitution, negative hunger. Tend is cooking. Mining. AP. Dodge. We're going to go with the cooking. I never want to put her in battle, honestly. Never, ever, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Now, everybody else is getting kind of close. I just don't understand how in the world she is so high, man. It's freaking ridiculous. It is utterly ridiculous. What's going on here? Explore. Okay, so he, he well, I didn't want to explore anyway. So he's gotta do some fishing here in the morning. So dad's on the lumber. Which should be fine. We have we have enough rope to set up the next thing, which is gonna be so choose crafting plan. The next thing is going to be the lumber camp upgrade. Which is gonna require five rope and ten wood, which is okay. That's manageable. So we'll go ahead. We're going to stick Pops on over here. And he's going to start um, getting that rope. Which is... Do, 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 where is it? Crafting. Okay, let's get him. We don't need a lot, which is nice. So we're going to set him down over there. Who's resting? Padre's resting. I mean, the only one that could be resting would be Dad. But I think he can get this rope in one turn. Now, Mom, you don't need to be cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Mom... Now, how good she? She's good at harvesting. So we'll get her harvesting some fruit, just so we have some extra fruit for tonight. Kari can go out. And she can hunt. And we'll get that done, because you got to get that done first in the day. Just so that we, uh, we have time for later. Now, she's getting kind of hurt, so I can start healing people, too, because we have this extra person. And Angelico... You, my friend, can harvest some lumber. And I think everybody's where they need to be on at. Harvesting camp, forage, water supplies. Okay, good. Let's go ahead. Advance today. Dad should be able to get that rope in one turn. Let's hope. Look, I'm on double whammy. 100% job well done, Pops. A little tired from it. 
So he's going to take a break because we're not going to be able to get to that lumber camp today. Well, it's going to require too much wood. Good amount of water. Thank you. Thank you, Moira. Thank you, Moira. Get our harvesting skull up. So we got some berries for tonight, so we don't have to cook like an extreme amount of meals. Three fish bait. The man can fish. Seven fish. Thirteen depression. Thirteen depression from fishing? Seven raw meat. Ton of meat. I mean, we have food out the yin-yang. Now, we don't have to go hog wild tonight with making the food because everybody is like zeroed on out. So what we can do is we'll keep Angelica on over there. Let's skip on over here. Let's give dad a rest because he's starting to get high. So let's give, let's give dad a rest. So dad's resting. Nobody's making anything. That's fine, I think. But we need water. So let's get the check the water supplies here. It's man, this water. That's another thing to possibly look on at. Yeah, water's gonna become tight. Now one of the possible upgrades, let's head on back over here, is to change the amount of water that we get per drop. I don't know what the ratio is. Where's it on at? And all it takes is fire crystal. And I think that's something that needs to be done. And that'll help with the ratio of water that we get. Uh, who else is good at crafting? Let's take a look at some stats here. Crafting, 51. I think Dad is the absolute best at it. Astuche is pretty good at it, too. So let's go ahead. Let's get this going. Right now. Because it all it takes is that fire crystal. and But we need it. So now we have that going. Um, we got berries. We have one good meal from the night before. Let's take a look. Let's choose a recipe. We got a ton of food. I mean, oh my god. Now, we don't have to use too much, so let's do like a three. Let's do a four, four. Yeah, four, four. And then we'd have a ton, so we'll just see what, what happens tomorrow on that. So that's done. What's going on over here? What needs to be repaired? Excellent, excellent, good. A hunting camp. Okay, let's go pick that up one. Now, nobody's collecting anything over here, and that's fine. Now, he's going to be cutting wood. She doesn't need to be hunting. What could she be doing? Dad's over there resting. She could do something. Um, hmm. We could have her go exploring. She's getting kind of hurt. Now, I'd actually like to heal them both on up. But that's going to have to wait until, like, Dad gets his, gets his thing on back. So, let's go ahead... Let's stick Kari. Where can she? She can just go exploring. I think that'd be fine. Ugh. It costs a half water, so we'd have two. Depends on what we get on over the other end of it. We're going to be a little... Shoot. A little low on water. Unless... Aha. Aha. Let's go ahead. Because thinking... Thinking helps. We can get the berries. And that'll produce water. Pops is rested. The stuche. One fire crystal. That's fine. 28%. You're not very good at it, bro. I think, I think he's a kind of a big talker. Five and a half water. Plus one strength. Plus ten fatigue. Three crap mills. A tasty roasted... Okay. The woman is a freaking wizard. Now, Kari's on over here. Ten fresh fruit. Okay, so everybody's going to be fine. So we'll be able to take the berries and make water out of it. Padre's getting really tired. Okay, so let's head back on over here to the water supply. Let's check the water supplies. Let's get the fire stoked. Let's get as much water as we can. Okay, which is five. Let's give a double, triple. Let's max that on out. Head back over to the berry patch. Make some juice. It's 25 at a time, but that's plenty. And I'm going to have to take a quick break. All right. Sorry about the interruption there. Man, it, they are real here on the on the weekend recording routine. So we have, I think, just enough water. We have seven water. We honestly, we'll just waste all the berries. Let's get that water supply as good as we can get it. And let's see. Let's check on everybody else. Now, we got plenty of meals. Plenty of water. We'll get Dad back to working on over there because, Estouche, you're not very good at it, bro. 
You're not. Don't be lying about it in the future. Yeah. So everybody's good. Let's go ahead. Now, did we discover anything? We didn't discover any new areas. So we're good there. The fire is at 100%. Yeah. I think, I think this is a good day. Let's go ahead and end the day. Hey, my friend. Hmm? I really wanted to thank you for letting me join your little group. It feels like I'm part of the family. It warms my poor heart. That's nice of him. That's a relief to see that uh, not everyone on this island wants to cut our throats. I don't know if I really trust this guy. Even better, my friends, since you accepted me and your family, I'll protect them with all my might. I, Stouche of Bologna, make this promise to you right here, right now. If God forbid you ever came to your own demise, I'll take care of your family as if it was my own blood. What? Okay. Man, dude, am I going to have to kick this guy out? Okay, okay, that's nice, Stouche, but I prefer that you won't pray for my death too soon. Of course, my friend, of course. It was just a hypothesis. Did you see the little wink? Did you see the freaking wink? I rest assured I am watching over you. This guy's kind of creeping me the hell on out. He's got a massive creep factor. He's like off the charts. Okay, not everybody's super dehydrated, which is nice. Still not going to stop us from getting that water up one more degree. The water uh, collection thing. And then we'll set to work on the uh, the lumber camp double up. Share the food. Everybody. Everybody eats the food. We'll have the best tasty roasted meals for the love birds. Tasty meal. One for you, Mom. One for you, Dan. One for you. And one for you. Now, is everybody... Everybody's really good. Now, we have this milk here. Um, how's the little fatigue? Let's just give that to Kari. This guy might be getting the boot. I do not trust him. At all. I mean, that could be one of the reasons one of those things is available for us to, to boot people. Is because this guy seems shady, man. So, I don't know. First kiss removed. Oh, man, that was a good perk. Everybody's well rested. Padre's getting a bit tired. And... Okay, lots of fish bait. Nice. Okay, oh, a drought, of course. Pops are well rested, so let's go ahead and stick Pops. Back to work, doing his thing, All right? Let's head on over here. Let's get people lined up where they need to be lined on up. Now, we gotta, we gotta let Angelico take a rest. So we're gonna let Mom get to work on over there. And then we're going to have, of course, how much food do we have? Let's take a look here. Now, let's take a look at what food we have. So we already have two fish and we got two steaks, which is pretty good. Pretty freaking good. So if we just set... This guy to fish... Because we have all the fish bait in the freaking world. Man, he's a really good fisher, too. And she's over there doing that. Now, we don't need anybody cooking. Angelico's going to have to take a rest. Angelico, rest up, my friend. You're tired. You're tired, my friend. Take a rest. We'll have her get in the water. We'll have Def fixing up the water thing so we get a better dilution of it. We'll have Bart Kari collecting berries. What is getting bad? Ugh, the harvesting camp, of course. No, it's not the harvesting camp. It's still an excellent What What is in bad condition? The mining camp. We don't even mine. We'll fix that later. Psh, psh. Freaking, what's the point? Mom's going to collect some wood. That's going to depress her a little bit. And pretty soon here, we're going to have to have some people get some, get some beers. You know, get our beers on here. Which should be just fine. Now, everything is set into place. It looks like it's going to be a hot, hot day. But things are going to get done. 
But we'll have to see what happens in the next episode. I thank everybody for dropping on by. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, leave a comment below if you want to talk some smack. And give me a thumbs up if you think I did all right or there's something funny in here that you want to show off. Or you need to remember it's part of the part of your own little quest on this game. But until next time, everybody, you take it easy, and I'll see you around. Peace.